Just before this video starts, I'd just like to quickly say I'm currently on the road to 10k followers on Instagram, so I'd really appreciate if you guys went over there and dropped me a follow. And of course, please like and subscribe. Now with that out of the way, let's get on with this video. <sighs> When you join the gym community, there are three big lifts that you need to accomplish before you become a certified official gym bro. First of all, the deadlift. 180 kilograms is what you need to be lifting off the floor to prove to people that your strength is something not to be messed around with. And plus, it looks cool as f Next up, the squat. 140 kilograms is what you need to be squatting to show people in the gym that your legs are strong as f and that those legs are packing power. And lastly, and to many people, the most important one of the three, the 100 kilogram bench press. Now, when I first started working out a couple years back, 100 kilogram bench was what I desperately wanted. However, it took me far longer than anticipated to hit this monumental lift. And looking back at it now, there are so many things that I could have done to speed up the process. Now, it doesn't matter if you're watching this as a new guy that's just joined the gym, or you're a guy that's been going to the gym for a couple years and still hasn't hit this lift. In this video, I'll give you some advice that you probably haven't thought of, or you should probably try and implement in your workouts. So, let's get straight into it with tip number one. Now, my first tip into getting a big bench is don't bench as much as you have been doing. Now there's probably a couple of you watching this video that when you go to the gym, you bench press, but you neglect all other pressing movements. And I know that because it's what I did when I was trying to get a big bench. I'd go into the gym and all I'd do was bench, do a little bit on machines, do a little bit of dumbbells, and that was it. And it is stupid, and it will slow your progress down so much. Something that definitely blew up my ability to be able to progress on bench press was incline dumbbell press. Now, after a couple of years of working out, constantly benching all the time, I just, at some point, gave up on benching. I didn't really fancy it, my chest wasn't growing enough, and I just thought, it's not really worth it. And I just went absolutely crazy on incline dumbbell press instead. I was really committed to that exercise, I took my dumbbell press from 30 to 37.5 very quickly. And when I finally returned to the bench press a couple months later, after just focusing on that other exercise, my ability to progress on the bench is far greater than it ever had been before. I was actually shocked at how quickly I could progress. It was mental. So yeah, that's the first tip. Something I've done personally. Try not to focus as much on bench press and focus more on something like incline dumbbell press instead. Tip number two. So my second tip is be changing around your set and rep ranges. So what I'm about to say right now might be one of the dumbest things I've ever done in my gym journey. So all the way back in 2020 during lockdown, I had my home gym and I'd go in there and bench press a lot. I used to bench press three times a week, which doesn't seem too bad so far. But as I was determined to hit this big lift of 100 kilograms, I decided to do six sets of one rep. And that went on for a while. I'm talking about a couple months of just going into the gym three times a week, doing bench, six sets, one rep, constantly trying to overload it as well. And as you can imagine, that was just not optimal whatsoever. And looking back at it now, it's so stupid. So after a while of doing this, I plateaued hard and I even got injured. My mistake was not being flexible with my set and rep ranges and just sticking to one program all the time and hoping that would work. So if you've been on the same program, doing the same amount of sets and reps every time you go to the gym, always trying to progressively overload, switch it up, change your program, do a different number of sets, a different number of reps, and also play around with the weight as well. Whether that be in your sets, you do less weight with more reps or more weight with less reps. Just switch it up. Whatever you're doing, shock your muscles in a slightly different way, and that will hopefully help you progress. Again, it's what I did, and it helped me a lot. Tip number three. Now, I'm a strong believer in pressing movements will assist other pressing movements. So what I mean by that is when you're strong on one pressing movement, a different pressing movement that you do will be slightly affected by that other pressing movement. So I'll give you an example. I went through a period of training military press a lot. Now obviously that's a pressing movement, but it's more for my shoulders. However, I found that it greatly assisted my bench press as well. So out of all the pressing movements, I'd say that shoulder press, if you wanna get a big bench, shoulder press is the one to go for. If you don't do shoulder press and you're trying to get a big bench, please try and implement that into your work. Workout. If you don't want to do it on a barbell, go for dumbbells. Maybe when you're doing that shoulder press, try and go for less reps, but more weight, because we are trying to build that strength. And let's be honest, if you're watching this video, you want to get strong. Okay, tip number four, bench press frequency. Now, there are definitely some of you watching this right now that are only training your chest once a week. For example, if you're on the bro split, that means you're only training your chest 
once a week on Monday. And for me, training one muscle group a week is not optimal whatsoever. Now, I believe you should be training your chest at least twice a week. And me training my chest twice a week but doing quite intense sessions is working perfectly for me. It's the strongest my chest has ever been. I'm repping 42 and a halfs on incline dumbbell press. So yeah, if you're only training chest once a week, please try and change up your program and go for at least twice a week. So those are the main tips, but let me give you one or two things that will indirectly help your bench press. Okay, so number one, creatine. This stuff here is a miracle worker. Now for the longest time, I didn't take this stuff and I just don't know why because in my opinion creatine is just fucking amazing. Basically in a nutshell if you type in on Google what creatine does this is what it says. Creatine supplements will help your body produce more energy so you fatigue less during short high intensity exercise. Taking creatine will also help you increase muscle mass and strength. Now not only will taking creatine help you with every other thing you do in the gym but it will also help you progress on bench press and get you closer to that goal you desperately want. Now this is actually a good time to get a quick plug in. If you do want to get some creatine or protein powder or clothes or anything from my protein, just click the top link in the description and use code HAL at checkout. You'll save about 37% off your order. Yeah, they've always got big sales on, but if you use my code as well, you'll get a little bit extra off and it supports me as well. So that'd be greatly appreciated. But yeah, if you want a natural supplement that will help you get a big bench, creatine is the way to go. And last but not least on my list, wrist wraps. Now if they're available to me at the time, I will never go for a PR on bench without wearing wrist wraps. Basically, all these things do is make you feel so much more stable when you're benching. When you're lifting heavy weights on bench and you go into it raw, and you've got pretty skinny wrists like me, my wrists are very skinny, and you're going down on the bench, your wrists might wobble, and I've got the perfect video to demonstrate this when I first hit 100 kilos on bench. But here's my first time benching 100 kilograms. It's a new weight, I've never lifted it before. It's a shock to my system. So obviously, it's a much heavier weight than I'm used to, and as I go to push it up, my wrists flick back a little bit, and I almost drop the weight. Like I said, it can be very unstable sometimes when you're lifting a new heavy weight, and your wrists just aren't used to it. But basically, Basically what you do with these, you just wrap them really tight and you just feel so much more stable when you're doing that lift. Also, these are from my protein as well, so if you want to cop them, use my code. I don't know why I said that. But that is about it for all my top tips on how I achieved my 100 kilogram bench and how from that point of benching 100 kilograms, I've been able to progress much further and kept climbing. My current PR is 110. I reckon now I could do about 115 and I implement all the things I've just said. So everything I've just said is from personal experience. I'm not trying to preach any information to you guys. I'm just sharing what's worked for me personally. And yeah, just as usual, subscribe, like, Use my code as well on my protein if you want to. And yeah, that's about it for this video. So I'll see you in the next one.